Today at Big Cat Rescue is our third day of panicure deworming for the cats here at the sanctuary. We do this three days in a row and we do it quarterly and this is the week that we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for panicure. Um, I'm getting ready to start doing the tigers and lions. Basically they get um, a smaller portion of their diet every day. We keep them a little bit hungry for three days so that they actually eat all of their dewormer. Um, so I'm going to go into, you know, grab up the chicken and the mush and put it in the buckets. And then what I'll do after I dose all of those, I'll start working on the little cats. And what we do is we pre-mix all of those before they go out. And I'll show you that process in a few minutes. Okay, so everybody today is, um, I'm gonna start out with three pieces of chicken in each of the buckets. Since it's the last day of dewormer, I'm gonna give them a little bit more um, food than they normally would just to kind of help, you know, not be hungry tonight. So I'm gonna start out with three pieces of chicken and uh, then I'll um, put their mush in. Is um, I put in the ba bags, individual bags the cougars and leopards. That way uh, their diets are ready and a, a keeper can just go right out and feed them. They're all prepared and ready to go. So I'm going to make up their bags in alphabetical order according to my list. This is a list I make up every month. It has an, ap an approximate weight of each of the cats so I know how much to dose them and then a check off for each day to make sure that they, they did indeed get their panicure. Now what I'm doing is I'm bagging up the chicken for the cougars and leopards and after I get their chicken bagged up then I'll break out the mush and I'll put mush in all the tigers and lions buckets and then I'll put mush in the cougar and leopard bags and then I'll start dosing. This is our carnivore diet. Um, we typically give it a nickname called mush. And what it is, is a ground diet that is, has some bone, also has uh, organ meat, like liver, heart, kidneys, that type of thing, because that's what the, most of your nutrition in a wild animal comes from, is from the organ meat. And it also is mixed with some vitamins and minerals. So this is the good part, this is the healthy part of the cat's diet. The chicken in the red is just to help fill in, to give them bone and, um, other stuff to eat so they don't get uh, bored with their diet. But this is the good stuff. This is where this is where all their vitamins and minerals come from. I got the lions and tigers diets all ready to go. Now I'm gonna flip over here and start putting mush in the cougar So we have here two um, different colors. <laughs> I refer to it as red and purple. The red, oops, upside down. The red is, um, they're both upside down. That's how I work, upside down. It, the red is the number 10, which means that it has a 10% fat content. So those of our cats that are, you know, average weight and doing fine get the red. And then the cats that are a little underweight and need extra are getting the 15, which means there's 15% fat in the diet. Um, I only have me. Yeah, you should, I should, you should have everybody else that was here today up there already. This is a gift shop. Apparently we are very uh, busy for tours today. And even though I gave them everybody, they still need somebody else. So you may have to go do a tour. <laughs> this is the Panicure paste. It is um, for our bigger cats that the um, weight needs to be like three, four, 500 pounds. This is more economical than doing the powder, which we use for the little cats. 
because the amount of powder that we would have to put in for the big cats would just be, it would be horrible tasting and they wouldn't eat it. So this is actually apple cinnamon flavored. Not that I've tasted it, but I'm told that it's apple cinnamon flavored according to the box. Well, I think you should taste it for the video. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think so. On the tube, there is a little um, dosage amount starting at zero all the way up to a thousand pounds. Uh, this vial will do a thousand pound animal. And you just turn this little knob at the bottom till you get to um, the approximate weight of the animal that you're doing. We hide the panicure in the chicken, so I just set it to the right knob and then I just kind of go up underneath the skin and I just kind of squish it down in there and then just kind of tuck the skin back over it and hope they just eat it without noticing. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to put all the little cat diets together and um, I have separated them into um, ones that are going to have to have chicks and then ones that are specific weights like their weights are a little different than the rest of the cats, so we make bags specifically for them. So Nicole is helping me here put some balls together, and we're going to start mixing in the powder. And then I'm going to mix up the paste for the ones that have to go into the chicks because you can't get powder down a chick throat. <laughs> this is the Panicure powder. This is what it looks like. It's like granular and powdered. How's that taste? I have not tasted it, but I imagine from the way the cats react, probably not very good. It probably doesn't really have a flavor. It's probably just because it's like chalky. I imagine is probably what they are tasting. So these ones that we're doing now, these balls that we're doing now are going to be for bobcats. And they are going to be for bobcats that are in the 25 pound range. So I'm going to measure out 25 pounds and just kind of sprinkle it on top. We wear gloves when we're mixing up the meat because there is chicken um, bones and stuff mixed up, ground up into this meat. And as you know, chicken has salmonella and that kind of stuff in it. So we wear gloves to keep ourselves safe. Just area. spread it all around. You're going to, you know how to make meatloaf? Yeah. All right. So you're going to mix it up like you're mixing up meatloaf or bread dough where you want to like really get it. Um, mixed up really well and then just kind of keep picking up the little granulars that keep sliding off of it. And the way you know that you've got it mixed up really well is when you make the little ball if you open it up there's no little pockets of powder. All you see are just little speckles. There's no little pockets of powder that look like that. Double check it. Okay. Okay. okay, that looks pretty good. See, we're looking to make sure that there's no little pockets of like that look like this in here because the better you mix it into their mush, the more likely they're going to be to actually eat it and not just leave it. And it looks like you have their names on each of their little bags. Yeah, each of the bags that have specialty weights that the cats weigh a little more than like the majority of the cats um, have their own little bags. Little Feather is very picky and she doesn't eat her panicure in mush, so she gets a little treat. She gets her panicure in a chick, which she loves. Feather! Look here, baby. Little Feather. Feather! Hey, look here. What's this? What's this? Come on. Come on, treats. Treats. Yeah, treats. There you go.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's move around to um, Apache and Divinity. One of them is over here. I, I, you can do them. Alright, so let's see what we got. Let's see. So, you got to go do Rusty, Sassy, and Rose first. Yeah. Here. Um, Bongo, Cleo, and Sybil. Bongo, Cleo, and Sybil, and then Diablo. Mm -hmm. That's what I gave you. Okay. Alright, so my handsome boy. My handsome boy. I know well, you're got a freaky one, aren't you? Okay, good. You're such a love. When we're all done with worming, I take my list. I always say what worming we did, which is panicure, and I put the quarterly date for the year and the month that we did it. And I staple it together and I have a little file that I keep it so if anybody ever wanted some kind of documentation that we actually did our worming when we were supposed to, um, this is about as good as documentation as they get. <laughs>